The story of Heather. This story is about betrayal. This story is about your so-called day ones. This story is about watch your circle. Because you never know that person that you're calling your best friend might be the one to take you up out of here. Or at least try to. Let's get to it. So you got Heather. Heather come from a home, two-parent home, where they provided her shoes, clothes, a meal every day, a roof over her head, a TV in her room, right? Went to Disneyland, maybe Disney World, maybe if not every year, every other year. Good home. Well, let's move to Ashley. Ashley's mother pimped her out from the ages of five years old to the ages of 14. Ashley grew up in a bad in a bad way. The life experiences that Ashley has will run so will will, will run circles around so many of y'all. This girl done been through so much in a negative way that a lot of stuff that I a lot of stuff that was told to me, I'ma leave out. Cause this is the things of horror movies, of nightmares, right? Of nightmares. So let's get to the story. So Ashley ends up running into Heather, right? In middle school. They become friends. You know when they say opposite attract? Well, Heather gravitated to Ashley because, like I said, Heather was Heather's parents were strict, and Ashley was like on the wild side, so Ashley could basically do what she wanted to do. Hang out late, no curfew, just doing whatever she wanted to do. So Heather decides to say, hey, let's be friends. It didn't go exactly that way. They, I'm pretty sure they ran into each other in the hallway, started talking, and just became friends, whatever the case may be. But they started hanging with each other outside, outside of school. So Ashley got her to start smoking weed now. Coming home late. Her parents like, what's going on? Why, why are you acting like this? Why are you staying out late? Why are you smoking weed? Why, why are you coming home smelling like that? Heather was Heather never was like that at all. You parents, this is a side conversation. You parents, if you start seeing your child having a different type of behavior, Sometimes it's just not the hormones. Sometimes it's their friends, you know, especially if you're a strict parent. And I'm not saying nothing wrong with being a strict parent at all, because all we want to do is love and protect our child, because we done been through it already, and we want to, we try to do things. Look, look, hold up. There's no book on how to be a good parent. So we try to do, we, we try to parent our kids by looking at what we did growing up and try to fix them things and try to implement that. So sometimes parents, it's just their friends and um, influences, right? So let's get back to it. So her parents, Heather, parents like, why are you acting like this? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Right? Now she being disrespectful, talking back, running away. And when she would run away, she would go with Ashley and Ashley would go to older men houses. Now Ashley is like 14, 15. Heather is like 14 or, or 15, one of them too. So they're about the same age. So when, when she would run away and go with Ashley, they would go to like older men houses. But this was happened. And keep in mind, um, Heather is a virgin at this time also. And Ashley been screwing, well, I'm going to say raped because it started at a, at a real young age where her mama pipping her out. So... They go to like older man houses and um, Ashley would be in there having sex with a 30 year old and Heather would be out just smoking weed, drinking in the front. Well, this would go on almost for, for about a month. One day they end up going to this guy house. I'm gonna call them Lou. Now they usually go to Lou houses like the chill spot where you know, where everybody's smoking, everybody drinking, whatever the case may be. This particular night, um, this is Heather's maybe 
tenth time being over there, over Lou House. So they go over there. Ashley and Heather go over to Lou House. Um, Ashley and Lou end up having sex. Ashley end up leaving. Heather is sleeping on the couch. Heather wakes up to Lou basically touching on her. She like, stop, because she a virgin, remember that. And he like, what you mean, stop? And she was like, stop. So she tried to get up. And when she went to the door, he like grabbed her and was like, where you going? And she was like, man, uh, so now she freaking out. She weirded out. She getting scared. She like, just leave me alone. He like, no, you ain't going nowhere. So he put a gun to her back to the back of her, to the back of her head when she turned around, and she heard the gun click. And he was like, yeah, you ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. So she said she started crying, and so they went to the back. They went to the room. Well, he made he walked her to the room. Now I'm gonna spare y'all the details, right? Viewer discretion advised. I'm not going to say what happened, but y'all know what happened, right? And keep in mind, she was a virgin. After this act, this heinous act, this evil act took place, he told her, you better not tell nobody because he found out she was a virgin because, you know, she bled. But you better not tell nobody or I'm going to kill you. Two days later, she she didn't go to school, nothing like that. She told her mama she was sick. Cool. Two days later, she started hurting real bad. Hurting bad down there. Real bad. So bad, she ended up having to go to the hospital. She couldn't take it no more. So her mom and dad took her to the hospital. They wouldn't... It's some law out there that you don't have to disclose what's going on with you to the parents. They got... The, the teenagers can give consent. So, the mama was thinking, like, are you pregnant? Well, she can't be pregnant. She's a virgin. That's what she had. Test results came back and she had gonorrhea. And genital warts, herpes. This man, Lou, that raped her, for her first time, she contracted genital warts and gonorrhea. This is a cautionary tale to you young girls out there. To you young girls that come from a good home and you want to hang with the bad girl or the bad guy. Because I got story for days. Stories for days. Y'all better share this video and hit that like button. If this ain't one of the most eye open, I got so many more videos. It's I share these videos not for entertainment purposes, but to bring awareness. I don't think there's nobody on TikTok or YouTube, or anywhere that's talking the way I'm talking. So it's important that y'all share this video because you could be next. This was Heather's first time. First time having sex. Well, raped. And got genital warts and gonorrhea. Long story short, Long story short, because y'all know I can talk. Long story short, they end up sending Heather to Texas. This took place in Ohio. They end up sending Heather to Texas to her grandmother's house. Uh, y'all want to know what happened to Ashley? I got a whole nother video coming for y'all. But y'all got to wait for that. I'm going to give y'all... <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to give y'all the story of Ashley later on. Y'all hit that like button. Hit that follow button. If you ain't following my videos, you better start following. I'm going live this Friday on the 25th, March 25th at 8 o'clock. Hit the cash app up if you're enjoying this content. The story of Ashley. Yo, I never thought I could say this coming out of my mouth. That a human being could be so evil. I mean, have you ever met somebody that was so wicked, so evil, but they not even grown yet? And I'm going to give y'all some backstory about Ashley. Now, I changed some names in this story 
to protect the identity of the person, obviously. So I'm not saying every girl named Ashley is like this, okay? But this girl named Ashley was evil, wicked, a wicked spirit, a wicked soul. I told y'all in the story of Heather a little bit about Ashley. Ashley's mother pimped her out from the ages of five or six to the ages of 14. Pimped her out on the east, I mean, on the west side of Columbus, Ohio. Hilltop, the bottoms, two of the worst places to live on the, in Columbus, Ohio. Her mother was a heroin addict. Father, nowhere to, no, can't find him. Don't know who he is. Ashley grew up hard. Hard. I mean, she grew up in a, in a bad way. Imagine. Y'all can't imagine it. You, you can't imagine this. Uh, but, peep, peep what I'm saying. Imagine being five or six or seven, being penetrated by a grown man. And your mother is right there, but she got that needle in her arm. Why you getting did all type of ways dirty? This the reality of a lot of girls growing up. That's in bad situations. But we're going to continue to talk about Ashley. So this is Ashley's mentality. To, that man is only there to hurt. And her mother didn't show her no love because she allowed this to happen. So Ashley mental, you know, the mental state that's inside the shell is messed up. Her spirit is broken. Her spirit is broken. No empathy at all. No love. You know that Lil Wayne and Eminem song, No Love? You gets no, you gets no love. She got no love inside of her. This girl, so wicked, so evil. She only cared about, I don't even think she cared about herself. Let me tell you a story. One of the stories that she did. She got plenty of them. But one of these stories is crazy. I don't even feel right telling this story, but y'all here, y'all came. Y'all want the story? Here it go. This is the story of Ashley. One day, Ashley decides to hook up with this boy in school that she believed that selling drugs. Ashley hangs with older men, gang members also, in their 30s and 40s. But hold up. If you in your 30s, or even late 20s, in, in your 30s, in your 40s, and you still gang banging, that's a problem. You need to grow up. This is a sidebar. If you are in your late 20s, 30s, and 40s, and you still gang banging, anyway, y'all hit that like button and share this video. So, she hooks up with this boy. In her school, right? They gotta be in a ninth grade. He he fronts like he sells drugs. His both of his parents are lawyers. Both of his parents are lawyers, but he fronts like he's a drug dealer. So she what Ashley does, she cozy up to him. She's telling her homeboys the older game bangers. That she got a lick. She got a lick for them. And what is a lick? You could be a lick. Your house could be a lick. Basically, you about to get robbed. So she cozy, cozy up with this boy. Sets him up to get robbed. It's finna get real dark. This is This is a disclaimer. This is the next thing I'm about to say is it's about to get real dark real fast. 
They're supposed to go to the movies. When they get to the movies, she say, hey, let's go mess around on the side of the building. And he like, okay. Oh, let's do it. They go around the building. There's a blacked out expedition right there. Two dudes grab him and throw him in the car and beat him. Beat him and they take off. They get to an undisclosed location. I got to choose my words carefully. They get to an undisclosed location. And they telling him where the money at. Where the money at. Where the drugs at. Call your connect. Before I finish this story. I don't know. If this is a true story. Because this was a story that was told to me. So I don't know if this is true or not. If this can help somebody out there. To solve this case. Then there it go. It's out there. They beat this boy. When they when it finally comes out that he's not a drug dealer, that he was fronting. They turned this TV off. Turned this TV off. Do y'all know what that means? That means he's no longer here on this earth. And like I said, I don't know if this story is real or not. I don't know. I I was told this story and I'm just bringing awareness. But hey, it is what it is. They turned this TV completely off. Now there's two lawyers, a mother and a father, that got to bury their son because he was pretending to be somebody that he wasn't. Came from a good home. There's a message in, in this story. If you come from a good home and your parents doing right by you, take your ass to school. Go to school. Stop trying to be somebody that you're not. Because if this story is true, he got murdered for nothing. For nothing. And Ashley, let me tell you about Ashley, y'all. Ashley does exist. I know this for a fact. Ashley is free right now. She she did so much, y'all can't even. But to anybody from Columbus, Ohio that deals with the juvenile system out there, y'all know. If it, it, you damn near gotta kill somebody to to really get locked up. You can rob somebody, rape somebody as a juvenile, get into shootouts. Robberies, they'll let you go. They'll let you go. They give you so many slaps on the wrist there. My point is to telling y'all this story. Be yourself. If you come from a good home, just live your life. Do what your parents, even if you don't come from a good home. If somebody in your life telling you, T telling you to do things and showing you a direction to do good in life, do it. Just do it. We living in a bad, evil time right now. Evil. When everything that seems like is right is wrong and everything that's wrong is right. Hit that like button, man. I'm out.